Green Islands under 15s met Dungannon at Allen Park in Antrim in the National League, Dungannon in yellow, and Green Island in the maroon colours. Taylor Adger scored after just four minutes for Green Island. Looking at 1 0 when nipping in ahead of Oren O'Kane to slide the ball past Olaf Wisniewski. Lewis Barr then robbed Terry Devlin of possession in midfield. He surged towards the Dungannon goal. But on this occasion, Adger miscued with his right foot and Dungannon's goalkeeper made the save. Dungannon were again dispossessed shortly afterwards in midfield. Aidan McGarvey and Cameron Long this time working a move out on the right with some neat interplay. Long shot from the edge of the area eventually drifted wide after 15 minutes. The equaliser for Dungannon United came eight minutes later and was all but offered up by their opponents. Lewis Patterson attempted to clear his lines. The ball was charged down by Sean McAllister, who lifted the ball over Lewis Brown into the Green Island net to make it one apiece. Green Island were back in front before the break though, the normally pinpoint Devlin gave away a pass which Lewis Barr capitalised upon to fire past Fizniewski. Good finish this one. After the break, Devlin was intent on drawing Dungannon level. This 30 yarder was well tipped over by Brown. The game turned on its head with just three minutes left. Jack Patton headed towards his own goal from this Dungannon corner and Liam Toman tapped in to make it 2 all. Then on the stroke of full time, Dungannon went on to win it. A long punt into the Green Island box fell kindly to Jack Muldoon. He crossed for Vicky Saldana to head home for a dramatic turnaround success. Full time from Allen Park, Green Island 2, then Gannon 3. It's a disappointing result. and um, Boys obviously feel disheartened. Um, we, we worked very hard, battled very hard, testing conditions. Um, very windy, blustery day. And, we got ourselves well organised, defended and contained them in the majority of the game. Um, obviously with 2-1, with whatever, I think it was four minutes last time I my clock, and to come away here with a 3-2 defeat, it's, it's hard to take. Look, yeah, there, there is positives. The, the boys themselves set out their plan and they worked it. They worked very hard for one another. Um, couldn't fault any of the players. Do you know what I mean? um, the goals you said taking the lead was great. Early doors, we, we capitalised on a wee bit of indecision maybe from them. With a, just a direct ball, the pace of our forward, Taylor, um, gets onto it and does well to finish. The second one, um, we were looking to get our midfield pressing higher. They weren't, but fortunately enough, one of the midfielders was able to press, win the ball and obviously get a great strike off on goal to get the lead. Um, just a pity we couldn't have held on to that. Yeah, it was. I mean, I'm obviously very pleased with the result. You know, it was a, it was a big game. It keeps us in, keeps us in with a wee shout uh, with the league. Um, but it was a tough game. Yes, tough conditions. of a blustery win we played against in the first half. Uh, we were very expansive in the first half, which, which we are. But if you're going to be that expansive, you, it's important that you keep the ball. And we were very, very sloppy in possession in the first half. And uh, Green Island sat in and were very, very dangerous when we, when we were sloppy, giving the ball away cheap. Very dangerous in the break with pace. And they punished, they punished a few mistakes in the first half, um, and, and got the two goals from that. You know, so. But in the second half it was just a matter of sticking in there. It changed it. Um, we had, we had the conditions, so I went sort of three, five, two then, and, and um, sort of played the conditions a wee bit ourselves, and were a little bit more direct, and, and it paid off for us in the end. You know, so I'm delighted.